and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a really easy way to be able to get your words into any kind of arc or curve that you want here in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we need to create the arc or the curve that we want. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use the pin tool. So I'm just going to click right here on the pin tool and then I can draw whatever shape it is that I'm looking for. So um, I can, you know, draw a curve. For this example, I'm just going to kind of draw a curve line. So I'm going to click once and then if you notice it gives me a straight line. I'm going to click again and hold down and I can pull out the handles of this node and that is what will really give me my nice arch and then I can click again to do the same thing so I'm gonna click once hold it down and then it's gonna kind of give me a curve and I can just kind of follow that same path okay and then once I have the line which however I want um, right now it's I have a fill on the line and I have no stroke so I'm gonna flip-flop those just so that I can see what the line is and that is kind of a funky curve right there. I'm going to pull this out just a little bit so that it's a little bit um, more of an arch rather than a point. Okay, so that's not super important. Um, just as long as you have some sort of line there. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get our text going. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and hold down on the type tool and you'll see it says type on a path tool and that's actually the tool that we want so it has the cursor but it has that little line through it and I'm going to click on the actual line that I've just created with that cursor so I'm going to click once and you notice all of the font all of a sudden shows up and it goes in exactly the arch that I just drew so here is now where I'm going to type out what I want my um, curved words to say. So welcome to our home dot dot dot. Please leave by nine. Now at this point um, if you notice some of it got cut off here at the end. So there's a couple options of what we could do. The first thing is we could change our font. So if I double click on this and I have that cursor, I can go in here and I can select all of that and I can switch up whatever font I want. I really love this font, so I'm gonna leave it here on the Darling Dearest. Um, but option, another option is I can just make the text smaller, okay? And that will kind of move it around there. But if I really like it this larger size, let me show you another option. Notice, there's like this little line when I click on my selection tool and I have my text and I have my line selected. It's like a little um, arrow or a line with a white dot at the beginning of my text. And when I hold my arrow key over it, it has a line with an arrow pointing on it. If I click on that, it's going to drag the entire line of my text across my line. And this way I can adjust exactly where I want that banner of text to go. I can just move it along right anywhere I want here. So I'm gonna drag that back a little bit. Um, I have one on this side as well if I want to go in and I want to adjust it from this side too. Um, I don't need to adjust it from this side, but if you wanted to get it centered or something like that, I can do that as well. Okay, so now I've got my curve. Now let's say that I get my words on this curve and then I say, you know what, I really am not a big fan of the angle that it's at. I wish it was curved a little bit more. What I can do is I can go right here to my direct selection tool and notice how all the points that are on that line show up and I can click on any of those points and I can move them around and my text will follow that exact same curve. I can make it shorter, I can make it longer, I can make it curve more down this way. Whatever I want that curve to look like, I can move those nodes around and now my text will follow along that exact same line, okay? So it's kind of just a, a fun way to be able to manipulate your text and give it just some character there. Once you have it exactly where you want and you're pleased with the arch, you're pleased with the um, font you're using, you're pleased with the size, all of that kind of stuff, in order to save this as an SVG, we have to tell our software that it's no longer a text, but it's now a graphic that it can save. And we're going to click on Type Create Outlines. 
And now when we do that, that line goes away and we've got our type there. And we can go to Object Ungroup and now we can edit each individual letter if we want to. We can move them around, we can adjust them, or we can just take that entire thing and because this is a cursive font, we're going to want to unite all of those together. And then just to really clarify and see is our design going to be crisp and clean on our cutting machine, we can hold down Control or Command on a Mac and click on Y and that will show us the outline of exactly where our machine is going to cut. And it looks good, everything is welded together and we are good to go. So now I can go right up here to File, Save As and save it as an SVG file to be able to open in my software and cut with my cutting machine. So that's just kind of a fun way to be able to create some dimension with your text and with your fonts here within Adobe Illustrator. I can't wait to see what kind of fun, cool waves you decide to create, and then I'll see you back here in the next tutorial. Bye!